What's up, world? My name is Lionel, and I'm the founder of Tagalong Productions, and this is my first blog. We on somebody. Jumped up, got fresh, I ain't have to hit the set. Hit the set. Oh, I'm tripping quarter birdie on my neck. Birdie on my neck. Roll up on him, I'ma hit him with that tail. Hit him with that tail. He out of bounds, blow that whistle like a ref. Whistle like a ref. This is the first blog that I'm doing. All the rest of my blogs, they gotta be on the water. Left. I never trust you if you told on somebody. You can't be real, nigga, if you roll on somebody. New school shit, I used to ride in the hottie. Riding in this bitch got me tripping off that mop. I never trust you if you told on somebody. You can't be. I know I wanted to do this blog by the water, man, because I ain't gonna lie, the water kind of bring me peace. So to be honest, I wanted to be by the water. And uh, don't pay me no attention on my microphone. This is my little shotgun microphone. Uh, I got my light reflector right here. That's why I got these sunglasses on, because it's too bright. <laughs> Whatever, though. But, uh,. I gotta give a shout out to my brother, my brother the one who actually gave me the idea to do this blog and talk about the whole process of me filming and my whole background story. So I'm gonna give y'all an insight of me and let's get to it. So to give y'all a little background about me though man, uh, I started shooting music videos like three years ago and to be honest with you I never really wanted to get into music videos to be honest. The idea of filming came from like me being in prison locked up uh, I spent a lot of time locked up you know what I'm saying and I had always had these visions I used to create in my mind you know what I mean when I was on the yard just walking and just thinking and sometimes I wrote all this stuff down on paper and I actually kept some of the stuff to this day though but everything really derived from being locked up and being creative in there and just playing with images in my mind so the day that I got out I knew like I wanted to get into film but I, I really didn't really know, like, I want to do, like, music videos until this guy invited me on a, a project. And I got to witness, like, behind the scenes of how, like, a music video was shot. And then I seen, like, the final version of it. And from there, it was like, I knew exactly where I wanted to be. Music videos, man, in itself is, like, real creative, man. You really got to have, like, you got to really kind of have, like, an eye for this. You know what I'm saying? And I... I, I I think if you really understand movies and how they film movies, you will kind of like understand how to do music videos because the information comes from movies. So, but I think you also have to have like tough skin though, because like being in the music industry, man, it can be tough, you know, and it's a lot of rejection and you got to be able to handle that and keep it pushing. And that's how you outlast the rest of these dudes, you know what I mean? And overall i love the, i love the process create of creating i love everything about just 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 working and, and twisting time and, and reshaping images you know what i mean and i just love everything about it though man you know what i'm saying so yeah i also think that man like if you're doing music videos you really need to pay attention to like the artists that you work with for me i i come from like you know the, the, the background of you know being in the streets or whatever so a lot of the artists that I work with, they like drill music. You know what I mean? They rap that that, that real like gangster type of music or whatever, right? And if you not like, it depends on the background you come from or whatever, right? On and whatever you want to work with, but choose your niche wisely, though. You know what I'm saying? And understand that like if you working with like a lot of drill music people, understand that like a lot of these people, well, any artist, not even just drill music. If you working with a lot of artists. Most of these artists are not signed. They don't have deals. They don't have distribution. You know, some of these artists don't even take their craft serious. So they just out here just doing it as a hobby, like to play the music in their car when they ride. So when you take that into consideration, these people ain't finna pay you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why I said you gotta have tough skin to get into this industry. I also think that, man, like one thing that I used to uh, do a lot when I first started. I used to like, um, people used to ask, like, you shoot music videos, and I'd be like, yeah, I shoot music videos. Um, you do photo shoots? I'm like, yeah, I do photo shoots too. Uh, you do weddings? Like, oh, yeah, I do weddings too. And I was like, yeah. you know, I was I was, I was, was chasing everything. I was trying to do everything. And into uh, a mentor, a mentor pulled me to the side, and he was kind of like, um, don't do that. Um, he says, if, if, if you're trying to work your way up in, in, in this industry, and you want people to pay you top dollar you want to make sure you master one niche first 
before you branch off and try to like go out and do something else and at the time i really didn't understand that because i'm like i'm just chasing the money i'm not chasing and he was like that's the problem you're going to be like 90 percent of these people just chasing the money like you're trying to build a career and i was like yeah you know what that do make sense so that's something that i recommend though man like if you in the filming industry whether you doing movies whether you doing weddings music videos documentaries commercials bruh stick to one niche master it and then you can branch off and do whatever you want to do because if somebody comes and they want to hire you and you do weddings and you tell them i primarily do music videos but i do weddings as well and then they look at your portfolio and they see y'all uh, he probably only did one wedding they're gonna go with somebody that primarily does weddings so that's the biggest that's one of the advice that i probably can give you though man is is stick to your niche so if you do music videos do music videos you know what i'm saying shoot all music videos at least do however many you need to do you know what i'm saying but just make sure you stick to that and you master that shit you know what i mean uh yeah like you got to be careful when you working with artists because like most of the time if you if you working with like drill artists when i first started out i ain't had no structure you know what i mean so i was just letting people put guns in the video point guns at me some of these dudes i didn't even know and somebody pulled me to the side and they was like yo you, you just allowing this to happen and i was just like i'm just trying to make money <laughs> and he like you gonna die trying to make money like you, you really trying to like I'm like and I thought about that for a minute and I was like yeah I don't think I should be doing that no more bro like I didn't really think about that I just thought we were just doing videos but in my mind I'm like yeah them guns loaded you know what I'm saying like I don't know none of y'all <laughs> ain't y'all off drugs too I'm like oh yeah we gotta change the way we doing things though so I had to really like uh like change a different like different policies about what I'm doing you know what I'm saying um yeah, I, I don't allow that no more though. You know what I'm saying? Especially like uh, if I don't know you either. Like hell no, I you can't put no guns in the video. That wouldn't even make sense. And then I'm on parole at the time. I don't. I got guns in my video. They can hit me with that. Oh, he recorded this. He was around it. I'm back in prison. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to have that. You know what I mean? So I really had to change that and stop. Like it, it really kind of like made me like veer from certain artists. So certain artists I reach out to me like. I want to shoot a video and me knowing like what type of artist this is I know what type of person you is and then we from the same city I know where you from it's kind of like I have to veer away from you you know what I'm saying just so that I can be safe in a way though you know what I'm saying on both sides from going back to prison in my life you know what I mean so I'm like yeah I can't do it and sometimes man it's better to walk away from money than than than, than accept bloody money you know what I'm saying to be honest with you though so that's the good advice I can give y'all, man. You feel me? Overall, the process of shooting music videos, <clears throat> I think a lot of people, man, they get it confused, man. Like, I recommend this, man. When you shoot music videos, man, focus on creating, like, great quality videos that can somehow reach certain people that can get you bigger jobs, you know? And you, 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 like, you can see a video and you can tell, like, all they focus on is just, like, doing, like, effects. Like, putting sweet effects in the video, like, and you look at the effects and you, like, it doesn't even go with the video. Like, it doesn't even make sense in the lyrics. It doesn't have no story to it. Like, there's nothing to this effects that you're putting in here, you know. And it's funny because, uh, um, you ever heard of saying, like, I can always tell... If somebody's just starting or if they're experienced like you really can see that like and I, I know I, I I know I didn't earn the right to say that because I don't even shoot in three years but I've been talking to so many people and they've been pointing out my flaws and they like I can tell experienced people from people who probably just starting out and at first I was just kind of like how you can tell and he's like cuz I've been doing this for a long time <laughs> you know what I mean and so I got an eye for certain things I could just look at something and tell oh, he's unexperienced or this person is very very experienced just looking at certain things and once i started learning and studying filming of movies 
and then I started studying like effects and why we do effects and stuff like that and the storyboard about effects and stuff like this once I started understand that and then I went back and started watching like 30 to 50 videos a day you start seeing things like oh okay now it makes sense something that I learned was actually <clears throat> You got to be open to working with other people, bro. And in the beginning, I'm not going to lie, I tried to do everything myself, everything myself, right? For so long, it's cool because you just starting out. Um, but once you actually reach a certain level where people are starting to pay you, man, start hiring people to make your day easier, bro. You will save a lot of time and you will build a lot of relationships. And that's really what this industry is based upon. Relationships. I'm not even going to lie to you. You know how many times that um, I done seen people shooting music videos downtown Detroit. And I approached them like, yo, you need some help, blah, blah, squeak. I see you got three lighting setups. Nobody is staging or helping with the lighting. You have a gimbal set up. You had two cameras set up. Nobody's helping you. Oh, no, I'm good. I got everything under control. And you look at that type of person. I just be like, you know what? Why, like, you are who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you want to do. I, I can't I can't get mad at you, though. But I would, never, I would never be in control of all of that if I know I have the money to pay somebody to assist me on the shoot. It's better. It makes the time go better, and you build those relationships. So, at any time you ever need somebody, all you gotta do is just get on the phone, call somebody, telling them pull up. Hey, I just need you. We got a car scene. I need you to drive my vehicle while I'm filming this car. Is that cool? You understand? So, the main thing is really not about like keeping all the money to yourself. It's really about like building relationships, and that is way more important, bro, than keeping the money to yourself. So I encourage everybody, if you can hire somebody to do the job, to do something that can help relieve like time, hire them, hire them to do that job, period. Man, it feel good to be out here on this water. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm doing all my blogs from now on. This is the first blog that I'm doing. All the rest of my blogs, they gotta be on the water. You see how peaceful this is? You hear that? You hear the water waves? You feel me? Like, come on, man. It's peaceful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, all my blogs gonna be on the water, man. And yeah, it's that tag along production.